morning. Here over your TV, away we go. But this is noisy, very check it out. So long, Whitby Island. Goodness, I did this four years ago. We're way in the back, we're last ones on. Look at this thing, we'll go up top, check it out. seating. You can stay inside, but ain't no good view there. Let's keep going. Be Island. We're, it, it's not very long of a ride. It's less than 30 minutes. We're across. I'll wander around here a minute. And there's the captain and crew. These ferries are cool. You can either come on as a passenger in a vehicle, walk on. There's Land Ho, <laughs> Port Townsend. Big old bay here, huh? Looking back. Let's wander over here. I don't know how these people can stand being out here without a jacket. Goodness. That'd be too cool if we seen a dolphin or something out here. Huh? Well, we're getting closer. I'm going to head down in a minute. Kennewick is the ferry name. Captain's up there and crew. I don't know how them guys can be out here without a coat. My goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go down below. It's getting close. They get you off these things in a hurry, too. They used to have like a coffee shop and stuff to serve food, but I don't see it. Probably because of the virus. They got Wi-Fi in these things. But really, you're not on it that long. Wind it down. We'll get a good shot from up front. Good view. Port 
counting. It's amazing this thing. It doesn't even the weight that's on it. Doesn't even bother it. These vessels are huge. For safety and health reasons, do not start your engine until directed by a crew member. Walk on passengers. There's the other one. They run like once an hour or something like that. I don't know. They got schedules and they're all their fees online. I did not make a reservation. I uh, you're supposed to, but I didn't. I kind of just pulled up and said, "Hey, can I get on?" going ashore. <laughs> I need to head back to the van here in about 30 seconds. This guy's getting ready to open the gate. Cool. Well, fun little boat ride. Here we are, Port Townsend. All right, I got to head back to the van. We got a couple minutes. How about one last look? There's all that smoke starting to come in. It's supposed to get really, really bad. Videos are running behind, so by the time you see this, it's a bit bad. <laughs> look at all the cars. I mean, they cram them in everywhere. Look at that. A lot of people just sit in their cars. They probably do it all the time. Maybe they offer discounts if you ride this thing more. It's expensive. This boat ride was $46. But the alternative would be drive all the way around through back through Seattle. It's like we're in. Alright. Let's get off this thing. Kind of fumey as soon as the cars start up, smell all the exhaust. They get you on and off in a hurry though. They got it figured out. And we're back on land. Yay! <laughs> There's a line of cars getting ready. Look at the big semi. I mean, they, you can haul anything in there. Boy, I bet that cost a fortune to put a semi in one of them things. Woof. Goodness. All right, well, I've been here before. There's a old fort, historic fort. Try and remember the name of it. Had some good views. I'll, I'll drive over there. It's on the other side of town. Then we'll drive back through downtown. And then I'm going to stay at the Elks Lodge here in Port Townsend. Use my Elk membership. Spend the night here. I did that four years ago. It's a really 
nice little park. You'll see it. And guess what? We're still on 20. <laughs> Highway 20 comes across the water. We're still on 20 West. Isn't that amazing? We started this road. Where was it? Newport, Washington, when we left Idaho. And we're still on it. Absolutely amazing. What a cool ride. You could almost spend the whole summer, or a good chunk of it, coming across Highway 20 in Washington State. Camping all the areas and everything. All right, let me figure out where I gotta go. I know I have to go to the right up here. We'll cut across the other side of the island. Let's see what this sign says. Fort Warden, there you go, Fort Warden State Park. That's, we'll go over there. I wanna take a break. Maybe we'll get a few pictures. Make it right here. Okay, it ain't very far. We are Fort Warden State Park. They had all these old barracks and everything. I did a video on this four years ago. Check it out. Should be way back in the one of the playlists. I think there were yep. Right there on the left, there's like a little coffee shop and restaurant. They do have campgrounds. We'll go down and find them. I'll drive through, do a drive around the park. But look at the old buildings. This is where they housed uh, troops and trained them. And all these islands during the World Wars were heavily used. They defended our country. All right, well, there's the water. Let me find a place to park. I need to stretch my legs, get out, and take a break a sec. Let's get parked. some benches yeah this old old school buildings look at them things all the wood siding there's the bay now you can really see the smoke coming in Zoom in with my phone. Look at the boat. He's fishing. Look how the sun's getting filtered out by all that smoke. And they got a pier here. The campgrounds are way out. Look at the mountain. Yay. I don't know which one that is. We'll go down. We'll drive down through the campground. It's down that way. All right, there's your look. If those walls could talk, huh? My goodness. Can you imagine the amount of people, troops, training, everything that stayed in those buildings? 
pretty neat place. They got pretty good access. We'll drive down through there. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time here, but uh, you can look at the other video. Look at the old windows in that thing. Alright, the van awaits. Okay, well, let's do this. I remember last time I was here, I drove down through the campgrounds. We'll do that again. There is a lighthouse out here. We'll see that. Look at this boat anchor. That thing probably weighs as much as this van. Goodness. There's our little pier. This is a state park. I got that discovery pass for the van so I can any of the day use stuff I could actually use. But we'll just do a drive through. Out in that pier, it looks like they got some low shops. Doesn't look like many people. You know, some of this stuff is still closed down, the buildings, because of the pandemic virus. Already up here on the left, this is uh, the campground area. I'm sure you need reservations. Look at that, you're right on the water. They got hookups. I think they got both here, both hookups and dry camp. Google it. Guy walking his dog, that was cool. Then there's like a little peninsula. Looks like off to the left there's our picnic area and day use. Maybe that's even dry camp in there. And they got restrooms. Once again, this is uh, Fort Warden State Park. Port Townsend, Washington. I bet the fog really rolls through here. back down in here yeah last time I was here I had my old doggy with me old Scooby I actually walked her around the beaches here there's the lighthouse I'm just going to turn around if you ever get a chance check it out Looks like there's some parking up here. Yep. Some of it's fenced off there. Not that many people here. Alright, well, what do you say? Let's go cruise uh, downtown. Then we'll go find that Elks Lodge.
that's one thing I haven't used my Elks membership that much this uh, summer in the travels because a lot of the lodges had to close they were forced to they had to close their facilities down but they're starting to open back up like Port Townsend I called ahead but you can't even pay. You got to do everything online. You got to pay online everything. But you save a fortune traveling with the Elks Lodges. Alrighty. More people walking the dogs. <laughs> That's what I did here. So you can get kayaks. Very nice place. Perfect summertime stop. There's that big boat anchor. Look at that monster, huh? Need to figure my way out of here. Then we'll go cruise downtown. Made it. Here's where we came in. They had uh, the other exit blocked off. I had to kind of double back. There's our sign, Highway 20. That's what we want. Here we go, downtown Port Townsend. Huge marina now. Also, there is RV Park. It's an RV park. I think it's owned by the town. I'm not real sure. But you can literally camp right on the water here. It's right off to the left. If you go online, it's the port. Right there on the left. And you can stay right there in the water. Look at the old buildings with the mural, the paintings on the brick. All faded out through the decades. This is some old school buildings here. This is an old, old town. Old port town. Smell the salty air too here. First National Bank. <laughs> All these little shops. Even the traffic lights look old, huh? Oh, look at the street light. <laughs> Not the left. I mean, you're half a block right there is the water. There you go, this is downtown uh, Port Townsend. Like a little park right there on the left. Looks like most of the shops, fenced off areas for the restaurant so you can still dine outside, which is good. 
At least they can stay open. Then right up here on the left, this is where we came in off the ferry. Old flat roofs. Right here, right there is where we came in. Well, what do you say? We'll go find that Elks Lodge. I'll get set up and parked. It's about four miles down 20 here. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, off a little side street. You'll see it up here. Neat RV park. Even the houses here, look how they're set up. They're really styled for the coast, huh? This is where we turn to go to Fort Warden. But we're going to keep going straight here. We're going to stay on Highway 20. We're getting close. Port, Port Townsend Elks Lodge. Been around a long time. It's a good little lodge. All those lodges with the Elks, they're always looking for members. If you're interested, Google Elks Lodge. Find one in your neck of the world and uh, join them. There's over a thousand lodges with RV sites and hookups. And you have to be a member to stay at them. And uh, a lot of times you can get prime locations, like along the coast, all kinds of places, good places to stay. Because a lot of their properties, they've owned for a long, long time. Look at the traffic, goodness. <laughs> here it is I stayed here four years ago real nice lady by the name of Joan runs this she lives right there in that uh, silver trailer all right let me see what spot they want me to get and I'll be right back in space number one. Look at this place. It's really nice. Pretty much have the place to myself. Right there we are for the night. Out of here in the morning. See what the smoke's going to bring us. But we're going to keep traveling. I'm going to try to make it over to the coast is the goal. Alright. The journey continues. Talk soon.